when you are depending your PG thesis or master thesis or you are writing something and you are presenting your work in seminar or in other presentations you must need to depend questions so XRD is the basic characterization of your material and this is the graph between intensity versus 2 theta so every crystalline material exhibits its unique properties unique shape pattern for its identification if you take one sample and do the xrd it will give different graph if you take another sample another material it will give different graph it is just like the fingerprint of a human being so fingerprint we use for human identification the similar approach we use xrd for material crystal structure identification XRD data is basically intensity versus 2 theta. It gives a lot of information. For instance, you must need to know what is full width at half maxima. What is the peak intensity? Why the peak intensity is higher in one case? Why the peak intensity is lower? Why one one plane have more peak intensity while the other plane have less? Peak width and the D value. I will explain these things step by step in a very good knowledge. Let's talk about the full width at half maxima. Full width at half maxima. It basically gives the estimate of the diffracting domain size. For example, let's do what is full width at half maxima. This is the XRD graph. If I zoom the pus peak here, so it will look like this. When I zoom it here, so basically full width. This is the full width here, the, the, the white arrow and I draw the line here and I cut that line at the exactly midpoint half mean 50 if this red line is if this peak is 100 meter high so we will uh, cut this at 50 meter just for simplicity if it is 100 centimeter high we will cut into 50 centimeter and we need to measure this white arrow this is called full width at half maxima because it is at half maxima half mean 50 and this is the full width and basically it is in 2 theta if you look above here you see it is in the 2 theta so we have to take this in radian this full width half maxima we have to take in radian and basically we use Schroeder equation to link this full width half maxima to the crystallite size from the full width at half maxima value we can understand that what is the crystallite size we can estimate what is the crystallite size and this technique we only use if our crystallite size in a nanoscale range if it is not in the nanoscale range so we have to use for example if you have a bigger crystal size for instance in a micron shape crystal size or you can call that a, a particle size or you can call that grain size so we will get the broaden peak the pull width at half maxima will be broadened and for that case we will require a field emission scanning electron microscope or high resolution TEM analysis to estimate the grain or particle size there we cannot call crystallite remember crystallite we use for a very very small so crystallite is the basic after the atom in molecules after that grain after that particles so we use these kind of techniques now let's use this Schroeder equation how uh, we can uh, estimate um, uh, the crystallite size from full width half maxima this is the crystallite size g d here which may be smaller or equal to grain size i talked about this and it should be also equal to particle size but in this case here we will say those are exceptional cases here we will say we will take this in nanometer here the crystallite size okay this k is a constant dimensionless shape vector and it depends on the crystallite shape whether it is spherical shape if it is spherical so we always take one value but if it is not spherical so we have to change this value and the value is ranging from this to this and i talked took this from somewhere that if we have homogeneous sample material so the k value is this if we have heterogeneous mean there is a variation in the sample morphology we have to take uh, k is equal to this okay this lambda is basically the wavelength of the x-ray 
if you use copper k alpha the most intense uh, line of the characteristics x-ray so this is the uh, video and if you use cobalt copper alpha so this is the video of that okay this this beta is basically is a full width at half maxima and we will measure this in radian because i told that it is basically in degree but we have to convert this into uh, a radian and theta is basically the broad angle and when you take two theta and the two theta is for example if you take 50 here two theta so we have to divide by 22 and it will be equal to 25 degree okay so this is very important information that uh, you need to uh, know about uh, what is this full width half maxima and uh, we will explain this uh, in a more detail that uh, why sometime uh, a window uh, crystal size are uh, larger so we have broader peak this is another question and if you have bigger crystal size for instance in micron you might get less broader peak sorry if we have a bigger a particle a big big particles so you will have a sharp peak and this i explain that if you decrease the size you will get get a broader peak if you increase the size you will give get shorter a uh, sharp sharp peak just like if you take a big mirror so you will get sharp re reflection from the, of the light if you take small small mirror so you will get diffuse so the peak will be broadened that is uh, another explanation so i hope it's clear now um, about the full width at half maxima and the next video i will explain about the peak intensity because the video is getting longer and i know people get bored when they watch long video thanks for watching